beautiful people welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my kitchen it's your girl esther and today i've come with yet another recipe so today i'm making bread so i've run out of bread and i would like to have a sandwich for tomorrow breakfast yeah so the one thing about this bread is that i'm not using yeast because i've run out of all papasa i still have yeast yeah but i also have baking flour the one that has baking powder and baking soda inside so i came across this recipe online and i want to test it out then i will rate it at the end after i've made the bread so the rating will be how easy how easy it how hard or easy was it to make the taste um how how hard or easy it, it is to actually acquire these ingredients such yeah so i think you get the vibe also if you haven't please do subscribe we are at 82 subscribers thank you all for subscribing let's continue pushing uh so that we can reach 100 subscribers by the end of this month or even more who am i to you know put a wall between me and my blessings you never know so without further ado let's get into it yeah i have my one cup empty and a bowl so we're gonna add our flour i think that will be enough for this recipe so that's one and that's a half then because i want my bread to have taste i'm gonna add a tablespoon and a half of sugar and i'm gonna add like one teaspoon of salt like that then we are gonna mix everything mix everything together like that now everything is mixed so here i have buttermilk yeah buttermilk because uh, well you can use water or milk or buttermilk so i'm using buttermilk so that's what i'm using then you mix it and then you're gonna add some water you're gonna add a quarter cup of water so approximately it's one cup worth of liquid so now this is how our flour is looking like yeah so now at this point we add um some oil so i'm gonna eyeball but you're supposed to put like two two tablespoons so i'm thinking that's enough and then we're gonna mix it in so you see this is our butter the one now we are working with and then now we line our baking uh baking pan with yeah, like that. Take our flour and we dump it in here. That's it. That's the, all the steps. Now, then we'll wait to bake it. So here is our loaf so i'm gonna put it in the oven it's it has been preheating for five minutes so i'm gonna put it in there for 45 minutes so here is my bread it's done and i must say it was done way before the time that i had thought because you know we are follow we were following a recipe so let me transfer into my plate so here is our bread from the downside and this is how it looks like so and it's smelling like cake for some reason oops so this is the slice okay It does taste like bread, which is a plus. Let me try and apply some butter and then taste it. 
Wow. I like it. So we are reviewing this recipe. So it tastes really good. It's better than it tastes better than the store bought bread because obviously it's fresh, freshly baked. So I will give it a ten on the taste. As for the ingredients, I will give it also a ten. It's very easy to you know to buy these things here also most of the things we have them at home yeah so i think also a 10 um execution i will give it a 10 because i didn't even need the flour i mean it was all like very straightforward yeah the time um that took uh for me to bake it i had said initially um 45 minutes because on that recipe it had said around 55 minutes yeah 55 to 60 minutes but this one actually baked um in i think 25 minutes it was done because i saw the browning on the outside and i knew if i let it stay in there it, it's going to dry out so that's why it's this moist as you can see it's it's very moist why is it not focusing because it's focusing on me yeah it's very moist yeah as you can see so i think it's a very good bread when you don't have bread you can just make it very fast uh five minutes i think it will take you five minutes to actually make the dough and 25 minutes to bake it at 160 degrees because i did bake it at 160 degrees i think that's that's a good thing right and it's fresh yeah so that's my verdict still i'm gonna make a sandwich tomorrow i've been waiting for the sandwich so look at how also the other thing that i did because the crust yeah the crust is not hard yeah it's semi soft yes which i think it's good you don't want a very hard crust when it was cooling i did cover it with a damp towel uh as it was cooling before i started slicing it so that's why the the outside is a little bit moist so if yours comes out and it's a bit hard yeah on the outside don't worry just cover it with uh, a damp towel and then it will become moist yeah so that's it for today i think we did good tomorrow i will have my sandwich which i think is a win so if you don't want to buy bread considering how expensive it has gotten well i have researched uh, a good uh, recipe and i have actually made it so that you don't have to so try it let me know all right if you haven't please do subscribe and don't worry about this we have mosquitoes here yeah so if you haven't please do subscribe like comment share until i see you on my next one have a beautiful day